Greetings, this is Edward Onjabo. In this tutorial, JavaScript if statements will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. As you can see right now, we're on chapter 5, which is the is if else conditional statement. So, logic conditions are used to perform different actions based on different decisions. You can use the if statement to specify a block of code to be executed. If a specified condition is true. Now for this tutorial we are going to do is we're going to use the web IDE here uh, because that way you don't have to install JavaScript or you don't need to have a specific ID or text editor and what will happen is that the code will be executed right into your web browser. This is the great thing about the Jumbo Shop uh, learning JavaScript course. So let's begin. I'm going to create two variables. Uh, there will be numeric because it's easiest way to explain the logic. Make 10, make the second number 5. Then we the the condition will be inside the parenthesis so say num1 is greater than num2 then in the squiggly brackets we can say console.log num1 is greater than num2 so meaning that this will execute if it's true you can have multiple obviously so I can say multiple if statements I can say if num1 is equal to num2 then you can say console.log num1 is equal to oh sorry num1 is equal to num2 so this that code will be executed if it's also true and you can also have another one you can say num1 is less than num2 then we we'll specify the code that will be executed here and say num1 is less than num2 so each of these if statements will be executed if the condition is true so if you compile this, you can see it's, it, only one was, uh, it says num1 is greater than 2. Because this one here is true. Num1 is greater than 2. Num1 is equal to, to 2 is false. And num1 is less than num2 is also false. That's why these two were not executed. So if you remember, JavaScript follows the MScript standard and is licensed under the W3C software license allows commercial use modification distribution allows making derivatives proprietary so that's the end of this tutorial but before you go i'd like to mention that the article can be you can read the article on ojumbo.com slash javascript hyphen if hyphen condition hyphen statement where i have i explain in more details there's a code snippet here for you screenshots the video watching right now and the learning JavaScript uh, course where I'm giving you 20% off until the end of 2024. You can also click this link to get the ebook on Amazon for your e-reader. And then I have a bunch of references here for other courses, other ebooks, and Ojumbo services. You you can simply go to ojumboshop.com, click on the learning JavaScript course. You can get 20% off until 2024. See a screenshots. It'll take look at it and then obviously on Amazon you simply search for Edward or Jambo the links are also in the description make sure you subscribe so that I keep on putting out this more content just for your use there you go Edward or Jambo and then you can see here you have if you have Kindle Unlimited it's free no JavaScript there's other courses as well Python is also free if you have Kindle Unlimited thank you